gives Rollins a 14 to 13 lead. Scoob got two three pointers now uh, in four attempts. He's going to stand in that corner and just shoot the three. And here is Lang going baseline. Has it blocked by Rosser out of bounds. Madeline Lang just 5-5 five, five, as Bistro and uh, T. Jones will come in. And uh, Andrews and Betts will come out. St. Leo down by one. They want to set up an inbounds play. But first they're going to take Springs out and bring in Nakira Hooks, the 5'11 junior from New Britain, Connecticut. And they look for her on the inbounds. Now give it to Royster. She'll jump up a 15-footer. That will go high off the backboard. And down comes Daniels with the rebound. He'll send out Joe Bistro, who got away with a little walk. And now to in the corner to Rosser. Rosser about 15 feet out. Bistro swinging it over to Daniels. Daniels driving baseline. Her turnaround. Oh, lovely spin move. And throws it in from the right side of the paint. Denise with four. Tars now with a three-point lead. Stolen by Daniels. And uh, now she loses it back and gives it right to Skoog, who misses the three-pointer. And that shot is put up and in by Royster. She took the rebound away from Joe Bistro. Royster's first points cuts it to a one-point Rollins lead. They will attack you on the backboards. You can't be soft with the rebounding. And McClendon now will give it off to Rosser. And Rosser down on the baseline. Now we'll go into the paint, give it off to Bistro. Left-handed three, he's got it. Joe Bistro, top of the key. Gives Rollins a four-point lead. They've led by as many as six. Coach Crosetto in his first year, graduate of Hofstra University in Long Island, calling the play for the green-clad St. Leo Lions as they go to the right. And here is a shot up and off, long rebound. Daniels will come away with it. Denise with a spin move at midcourt. And uh, now will uh, pick up her dribble. She had somebody down low, and McClendon did not see her. Now Bistro, left-hand dribble, gives off to Daniels. Daniels now looks uh, down low to Rosser. Rosser being pushed, doesn't get the call. Three-pointer Joe Bistro will be short. Rosser battling for that rebound. And it's tipped out of bounds by Madeline Lang. This throw had an open look right the left wing, couldn't get it to go. Springs back in for St. Leo. And Cameron Kimmel. Kimmel is a 5'6 freshman from Marion, Ohio. Royster will check out of the lineup, as will Briarly for the St. Leo Lions. And here is Denise Daniels, hands it back. Stars with a fresh clock. They can get two for one here. There's 45 seconds remaining. Now to Joe Bistro and to McClendon at the elbow. Now to Daniels. She will take it all the way and miss the shot. Oh, that one went halfway down. Great drive by Denise Daniels. And here comes Lang. Works it on the baseline to Kimmel. Almost threw that one away. Now Kimmel will get it back. Have it tipped out of bounds by Rosser. Five seconds difference. Shot clock, game clock. 19-15 is our score in favor of the Rollins Stars. Good crowd is filtered in here. Hope you'll make it out for the men's senior day as well. Coming up next, 19 to shoot. Down to my left, St. Leo to inbound the basketball. They get it off to Skoog. Tars in a 1-2-2 zone. Almost tipped away by T. Jones, and it goes right to Chelsea Springs, and she drives and easily scores. Wow. And that's two fouls, I think, on McClendon. That is a big one for Rollins. She's going to have to come out. Springs now looking for her eight point already here in the quarter. Rollins uh, went for the steal, had it, couldn't control it. And Scoob will check out and Briarly in. She's cut it to a one point game here, Chelsea Springs. She's not going to shoot it outside. Likes to put it on the floor and drive. Very, very good with the basketball and uh, misses that free throw. And the Tars with 15 seconds left are coming across the line really slow. Coach Wilkes said, slow down. You can't slow down too much. There's nine seconds left. Now T. Jones to the elbow. She puts up a 17-footer, and it won't go. That's what the Tars seem to end up with. And Springs will fire one up well short. Tars seem to uh, want to settle for that fadeaway jumper.